Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode 88, I think. Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a few finished objects to share with you guys. It's pretty much just the same thing I've been showing <laughs> because I've been trying to work on craft fair stuff and actually the last week I haven't crocheted very much at all because I was uh, sewing a bunch of bags. <laughs> I did have a Etsy shop update on Tuesday and um, there are a few bags left in the shop. I'll actually show you. There's three sets left in the shop. Oh, I'm sorry, my hair. It's just um, these little candy cane, or candy corns <laughs> with a zipper bag. And then a different print of candy corns with a bag. And then a Nightmare Before Christmas orange one with a bag. Those are all the only ones that are left in the shop right now. The rest of them sold. And I will be having another update in a week or so. <laughs> I'll show you the material for that later. But uh, I do have some finished objects. I have one whip to show you. I have I got more whips to start. I actually have one back there. That's going to be one of the Halloween ghosts that I made um, in the last video, I think. Uh, I'm going to film it after this. I'm going to film the first six rows of that. Someone asked me in an email last week <laughs> to do that. And I just haven't had the time to do it. But I'm going to sit down and do it today. And it's going to be bright orange. Because I thought that would be a good ghost color for Halloween. So I'm going to film the first six rows for her. And I think her sister, I think, needs help too. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and finish it, you know. And have a little orange ghost for the craft fair. Anyways, um, I got the blankets to show you too. Someone wanted to see my Jada and Stitches uh, 2019 folk art blanket <laughs> and then my Halloween blanket from last year that I'm, I'm going to be entering into our county fair this year because I, I finished it within the time frame. I backed it and uh, I wanted to share with you guys that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop into my finished objects. <laughs> so I did finish one more spider. Uh, I actually started this spider just to film the clip that I put up a week or so ago uh, helping another person with this pattern. So it's it, the pattern is My Crawly the Spider by To Craft a Home. My laptop's right there. <laughs> but it's just a purple spider with yellow eyes. This one turned out smaller because the yarn was um, like a lighter for... This is um, Devil Norval, I think, yarn. It's really soft. I've never worked with uh, Devil Norval and it's really, really soft. But I think it turned out cute. It's just a little purple spider with uh, like a yellowy color eyes. <laughs> but uh finish that. And it's actually stuffed with the black stuffing. Someone, uh, I got some Happy Mail and it was black um, polyfill. Because I had talked about how the white, you know, shows through like on my bat that I made. So someone was really awesome and sent me some black uh, polyfill. And it's stuffed with it and then you can't even see it. It's so awesome. So far this is the only thing I've stuffed with it because everything else I've made didn't need stuffing yet. But when I get to um, making more amigurumis for my craft fair, I can use it and it won't be so visible. The other four things <laughs> that I finished are the pumpkin drawstring bags by Jada and Stitches. And it's a free uh, YouTube tutorial. I showed two, I think, last week. So I made four more. And here they all are. <laughs> same colors. Uh, same exact thing. They're just little treat bags. Open it. And you, you use the curly Q vine thing as like the drawstring cinch thingy. <laughs> They're actually pretty roomy. What I'm going to do for my craft fair is I will have one kind of open like this and I'll put some candy or something down in it. And uh, then I'll have the other one cinched up beside it so that people can see uh, what they're for. But so far I have six of them. I want to probably make four or six more. I don't know <laughs> exactly. But they're super fast. I made three of these this morning uh, while waiting for my phone to charge. So um, they are super quick and easy. And I am out of this color orange, which was one that was gifted to me. I think it was called like... TLC or something. It was an older yarn. It's like way discontinued. <laughs> and uh, I had a little ball left, but not enough to uh, make one of these. So I put it in my scrap ball because I can use it for like um, noses and stuff for amigurumi. And uh, this color is super similar to Red Heart Pumpkin. So I'll probably just grab one of that out of my stash and uh, make some more pumpkins. But I really love this pattern. It's super quick. I have it memorized now. I can make it without even like referring to the pattern and make some more. Those are all my finished objects. I do actually have one more finished object, but it's another one of my patterns that I made uh, so I can take photos of it for the PDF. So I can't share that yet, but um, I actually have to make 
one more of each of those <laughs> because I want to make video tutorials um, that will come out in September for those patterns. And uh, so I'll have one more of each of those and then I'll show, or, show all of those. Ugh, I can't talk. When, um, after I release them, I'll share all those because those are also going to go into my craft fair. So it's um, technically craft fair crafting, but it's also pattern, pattern writing crafting, <laughs> if that makes sense. Let's see here. I do have one active whip. That one, like I said, will be one soon. And then I'm going to find some more uh, amigurumis to make. This one is for the craft fair also. It's an amigurumi dig it out. It's not a Halloween one though. It's actually a cow. <laughs> it's called Amigurumi Cow by Grace and Yarn. She has this one that I'm working on, which is the big size, and then she has a smaller size one. But uh, so far I've got the body done, <laughs> and it's got like black hooves and uh, really white because <laughs> it's blown out uh, the body. And the arms will be like up here in the head, and then uh, there's spots that you put on there. And then I started the head some slack and I just got like the crown of the head I feel like the head's gonna be really big but I think it'll be okay I don't know we'll see <laughs> I um actually don't remember where I stopped at on this so I'll have to count my rows but uh, I was working on this before the weekend and then the weekend hit and everything was crazy and the week pretty much the last week has been really crazy here but uh, I gotta finish the head and then there's horns and ears facial features and spots and then sewing it all together but uh, the picture is really cute, so hopefully this will turn out really cute. And it's been pretty easy. I'm working on my last ball of Red Heart Super Saver White, and I'm trying not to buy anything right now. So there's actually a pattern that I'll be um, testing for a friend, and it's supposed to be white, but I'm going to have to make it an off-white color because I'm completely out of uh, any white yarn other than what's for this cow. And But I do have two big balls of Erin, which is like an off-white and uh so it'll be have to be off white but that's okay but i'm really liking that pattern um i want to make more than one of those but i don't know if i'll have the time because i've been super busy lately all right that's all my whips until i actually get oop, my hook. I'll put that back in there. Uh, until i get things situated and calm my life back down a little bit and can start more stuff um i do want to show you this finished object because it is technically a finished object i did make the crochet part last year and it's a free pattern. It was a crochet along hosted by Maria's Blue Crown. And it'll also be linked below. And it's just called Halloween Blanket. Uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all seen this. Uh, if you watched me back then. Because I, after I made it, it was on my couch. <laughs> until like Christmas time. But it's ooh, a big square blanket. It was all made in individual squares. And then all the gray squares have different Halloween themed um, appliques on them. There's cats and witches and frankenstein monsters and ghosts and spiders and all that stuff candy corns i think that's everything skeleton head but anyways i made this for the fair i mean for myself <laughs> and uh this year i decided because I, I wasn't going to have time to make a brand new uh large size afghan to enter into my county fair so i went back into my records <laughs> to see when i finished this and i did finish this uh, after the fair last year so that means I can enter in the fair this year that's the rule it has to be like within the year between the two fairs and so I needed to back it because I got a little lazy with adding some of the appliques on and instead of weaving in the ends I just tied knots because this was always meant to be my blanket so um, I didn't mind if there were ends on it and um, so I had to go back and back it so what I did is I went to um, Joanne they had a sale on fleece I think it's fleece um it was like five dollars a yard and I got three yards because I thought I would need to cut it and sew it together to make it big enough but I didn't know I've never bought fleece before that fleece is way wider per yard than like regular cotton material way way wider it's like five foot wide where um like a regular yardage isn't anywhere near that wide so it was enough to cover the entire blanket without there being like a seam from where I had to splice two pieces together so I was real happy about that. So I do have about a yard and a half left uh, if I want to do another blanket. And right now I'm using it as like a backdrop for when I take pictures for patterns and for my Etsy shop and stuff. But anyways, um, so it's really fuzzy purple fleece. I thought purple would go good with all these colors. I was hoping it'd be closer to this color, but I didn't have it with me. But it's still, you know, it's still pretty. So what I did is I had to uh, buy one of the rotor cutter blades that is the skip blade I think it's called and it's you know it's a circle but it's like every other piece is missing kind of it's like divided in it's like it's gonna storm so when you 
you roll it across your material, it cuts holes, you know, every other space. And then what I did is I attached some black yarn. There's hair all over this because it was in the floor. But um, I attached some black yarn to it. And I just did a single crochet all the way around. And then in the corners, I did three single crochet um, to turn for the corner. And then I was going to crochet the um, the two blankets together. But uh, because of the spacing, you know, there wasn't enough stitches of the black to go with the, the amount of stitches with the green. And I do have a little bit of messes up, so that's okay. Um, this is my first time doing this. So what I did is I just um, cut off a big piece of yarn and... I just sewed it back and forth <laughs> together and in some parts I had to pull the purple part a little bit snugger to make it fit all the way to the end but I did it in such a way that it um, I don't think it's too noticeable it is if you lay it like perfectly out flat it kind of curls a little but uh, when you're just using it or if someone's just holding up looking at it I think it'll be fine and there are some spots where I wasn't watching where I was stitching and you can see the um, the black yarn but again I don't think it's a big deal this is my first time doing it and I'm happy with the way it turned out and I am gonna enter in the fair and if it wins something it wins something if it doesn't it doesn't that's okay <laughs> I just like entering but uh, it wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was gonna be and um, with the fleece it is really windy outside <laughs> with the fleece being larger than I thought it was gonna be um, it made it a whole lot easier because I originally bought some something else I don't think it was fleece but it was black and it was smaller like the regular size uh, like cotton fabric and I did have to cut it and sew it together so there was a seam right down the middle and I didn't like that so I wanted to change the color anyways and I just happened to get purple and then when I brought it home I realized that it was way wider and it fit over the blanket perfectly I actually had to cut some off the edge and in cutting some off the edge on the top part I'm not gonna be able to find it but I accidentally cut my crochet blanket, <laughs> the green. And uh, luckily I had a little scrap ball because I just made a green ghost and used almost all of that uh, glow worm. Um, I was able to just go ahead and cut and then pull back some stitches. And then I just went back in there and attached my yarn and crocheted them and fixed them. But uh, yeah, I accidentally cut my crochet and it was scary. I'm glad it was just this uh, last uh, row because I had went down in and I would have had, it would have been more difficult to uh, fix. But... I was able to fix it and get it all on there so now the blanket is backed and now it's much heavier and much warmer which I love because it's nice and cozy and this blanket turns out really big it's five foot by five foot I'm pretty sure I measured it once but I can't remember it is a very large blanket Let's see here there's one end and there's the other end <laughs> and then sideways it's the same I'm pretty sure it's five by five uh, so it's really big and with the two layers, it's really thick and comfortable and warm. This uh, fleece is super snuggly and warm and yeah, I'm looking forward to entering in the fair and then being able to put it out because I have my Halloween decorations out already and usually this is over my love seat. Well, usually as in last year, <laughs> it was over my love seat. So I'm planning on putting it back on my love seat so that I can use it uh, when watching movies and stuff. But yeah, so I wanted to share that because uh, some people had asked me to talk about what I did. And that's all I did. I actually, I watched, um, oh gosh, what is it? The Crochet Crowd. Uh, he has a tutorial on how to do it. And I pretty much just followed exactly what he said to do. I just, uh, I laid my fleece out over my crochet blanket to get the size of it. Measured it, cut out my fleece. Used the rotor cutter thingy. And uh, just crocheted in it. <laughs> And the only thing I didn't do is I didn't crochet them together. I was going to, but um, it would have been real um, ripply if I did. So I just went ahead and sewed it so that I could control the tension a little bit better. But yeah, so that's done and I need to put it up in my fair box so it doesn't get hair all over it. Check it up there for now. And then the other blanket someone wanted to see was my Jade Ann Stitches folk art blanket. Uh, I'm still really behind on this. <laughs> I have not done the houses or the lighthouse or the little Christmas tree shaped trees or clouds. The last thing that I did was the barn. <laughs> so these are my trees. And then my son is over here. And my barn. And then everything else is still real empty because I haven't done anything. 
And the only reason I've stopped working on this is because of the craft fair. I do plan on picking back up and finishing this uh, after the craft fair. So hopefully um, I can get this done before the end of the year. But um, I'm not too worried about it. Alright, what else do I want to share with you guys? Oh, I got my knit crate. I wanted to share that with you. I'm keeping this one too, by the way. That's why I didn't even bother making a knit crate video. And because I'm slightly lazy sometimes. But the knit crate yarn is Knitology. And it was worsted uh, merino. It's 100% superwash merino. And it's 218 yards each. And this is the color that I got. It's a blue and purple. And then there are, there's like a blushy pink color mixed in there. It's really pretty. <laughs> I love this. I can't wait to make something with it. Um, I can't say the name of it. Kestrel, maybe? I don't know. It's not going to show up. <laughs> it's some kind of bird. <laughs> but it's really pretty yarn. And then I, the uh, extra this month. I'm pretty sure are little stickers. They're the Knit Crate um, logo. And then the pattern book. But, um, yeah, I just decided I, when I opened it and I saw how pretty it was, I was like, I'm going to keep that <laughs> because I want to make something for myself with it. And uh, I just didn't feel like making a video for it. I don't know. I've been busy. <laughs> but, yeah, and the last thing I have to share, I think, let me look at my notes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I talked about all that. So now I just, I bought some material today. I just got back a little while ago, actually, um, for more bags coming up in the shop. Probably, what is today? Today is Thursday. Maybe by next weekend, but I'm not going to like say that for sure. I will post when they're already. <laughs> but I just got a bunch of random materials this time. Um, I didn't get any more Halloween and I'm not going to do Christmas just yet. But I got this cute cat print. This is a different one than I, nor than I used to get. Let me open it a little bit more. They're cuter looking <laughs> than the other cat print that I've had before. So there be cat bags and then I found this bunny someone asked um, about bunnies I found this bunny I didn't know if this was kind of the kind of bunny that they wanted but it's a cute bunny either way and I thought this was really pretty well wow, that's a really wrinkled part <laughs> I just bought them so they're not uh, ironed or anything really pretty and bright and then this one I thought was really cool I've had people ask me to do more shapes instead of animals. So I thought I'd grab some shapes. And I thought this was a really pretty autumn one for people who like autumn but not Halloween. But it's pumpkins and sunflowers and chickens. And there's like a picnic basket. I don't know, that's an egg basket. It's got eggs in it. <laughs> but I thought it was a really pretty uh, autumn print. And then this one I've seen a lot and just wanted to buy it. And today was just one of those days where I'm just buying random fabric but it's zebras <laughs> oh they were so cute and then I got cows <laughs> and this one I thought was really pretty it's honeybees and beehives that was so pretty and then I saw this and thought it was cute so I was like why not peanuts and then Flamingos. This right here, there's only going to be one of these in the shop because I'm actually gifting one of those to someone. Those are bags that will be up maybe next weekend, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I, I haven't even started working on them, so um, I'm not sure when they'll be up. But when I do get ready to post them, I will put a video on YouTube and I will also update on the Facebook group. And they'll be up. There are still three bags in the shop. I already showed those. And yeah, those sold out super fast. You guys are crazy about buying bags really fast. Um, I put up 28 bags at about 8 o'clock Tuesday night. And by Wednesday morning, there were four sets left. And then I sold one Wednesday. So now there's those three. <laughs> I'm super appreciative, though, to anyone who buys anything because it helps a lot. Uh, with all of our medical bills we've gotten recently over Jesse's arm because we went to two ERs for his arm. So that's two separate big bills. And then after uh, the ER visit, he had to go to the bone doctor four times. So that's a lot of um, bills. <laughs> but, um, and also we just had to recently get a new car, which I talked about in Vlogist, which you'll see, I think the same day this comes out. Um, 
We traded in our old car because it was starting to uh, have some issues that would have costed thousands of dollars to fix. So we did go ahead and trade it in uh, through a deal that the dealership was having. And we ended up getting a brand new car. We Neither one of us have ever had a brand new car. When we got it, it had seven miles on it. And it's already got over 100 because we drive a lot. But, um, yeah, so it's exciting to have a new car and one that, that has all kinds of warranties and stuff so that we don't have to worry about any mechanical issues for um, three years. <laughs> but, um, and the safety features are a lot better on it. And it's smaller because we needed a smaller car anyways. The, uh, the Journey was just a really big car and it was kind of unnecessarily big. So, uh, I'm glad. I'm, I missed the journey because we used it a lot over the years and we've had it ever since Jesse was a little baby. But, um, you know, things change and uh, we'll have a lot of other memories with the new car, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. This is kind of a short episode, but it's just because I haven't been crocheting a lot. I'm hoping to stuff it up this week because um, this will be 19 bags. Last week I was working on 28 bags. That's one reason that it took a lot of my time is because that's a lot of bags to make. So, um, I may not pressure myself to get all of these up and in the shop. I may just do some and then do like random updates. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I do need to get a lot more crocheting in for the craft fair that's coming up. And, um, my county fair is in seven, eight days. So, in... Not what today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So in ten days, I think <laughs> I have to go enter my stuff into the no, it's that Saturday. Seven, eight, nine, nine days. I have to go enter my stuff into the fair, and then that evening is when I will be able to see what I won. So I will make videos about that, and I'm not entering anywhere near as much stuff as I normally enter just because of time. I haven't had time to make stuff. I've got um. I don't know, probably 10 or less <laughs> items that I'm entering this year. And next year, I'm hoping to enter a ton. Because this year, I wanted to break my record. Last year, I entered 21 things, and I won $99. This year, I wanted to enter more stuff and get over $100. Because <laughs> I wanted to break that 90, you know, that 100 I hit $99 last year, and I thought it would be cool to get $100 this year. But I'll just have to put it off to next year, because um, the craft fair is really what got in the way. <laughs> and so, we shall see. And I'll take you guys along with me to uh, see the fair and to see the aftermath of it. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I'll get some ribbons and that'll be cool. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here because I've got to get ready to do dinner. And I'm going to film a little bit of that for vlogist. <laughs> and I've got to put up all the stuff that's in all over the house. And I want to film that and try to get that out and uh, all that jazz. And it looks like it's going to storm. So I'm going to charge my phone in case the power goes out. So I have something to do while waiting for the lights to come back on. I will see you guys in the next video and